Alright. Next position, I got underneath me. Got down the mat. One thing about that circle and snap, the only bad thing about it is as I'm doing this right here, his body's going away from me. Here. I circle his body away. Um, the idea behind that is trying to get his arms extended. Trying to get him down to his elbow. If I can get him down to his elbow, I'm going to be able to cut that corner as I got him extended and I got my weight on top of him. I'll be able to get that corner eventually. I might have to circle and snap a couple more times. But like I said, one thing bad about it is as I'm circling and snapping, I'm pulling his body away from him. Okay? So, this one is just kind of the opposite of our circle and snap. Instead of circling towards his arm, I'm going to circle away from his arm to bring his body to me. So same idea, keep my shallow arms, keep my shallow elbow, one hand to chain, one hand to tricep. This time we're just going to go head in the hole. Our setup is we're going to bring that hip and we're going to bring his body towards us, a little elbow prep, okay? I'm going to tack right in his elbow, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull his elbow to my chest right here, okay? I'm not just pulling out the man. i got to put a little torque on his, on his shoulder, put a little torque on his arm. So come here, boom, right here. I'm pulling off the man, I'm going to circle, and as I circle, that brings his hip, that brings his body towards me. And it might not be a long pull, it might be just a quick jerk, just to get him stepping right here. <laughs> just try to give myself an angle, okay? Sometimes I'm going to have to pry it a little bit more than other times. Sometimes I'm going to have to pry, pry, pry. Then I bury my head. Sometimes it's just going to be a quick jerk. Then once I got my angle, then I'm going to head in the hole. Position wise for my head in the hole, the deeper I can get, the back of my head is on a pit the better off I am, okay? And that's why I really want to give a good pull, and I want to get a good angle, so I can get the head very deep. It's not just right here. This isn't enough. My body's extended right here. Extension is lost power. I want to keep my arms short and compact. Right here, the deeper I get my head, underneath his body, the shorter distance I have to either his far hip or his near ankle. Now, at the same time that I'm doing this, guys, one thing that's really important is I have to pull down on his head. So that's right here. His head's not staying high. I'm pulling down, pulling down your heart, extending his body. Same idea as making sure that he's carrying, that he's carrying on my weight. The same idea, I gotta pull his head down. I don't want to be extended here, but I want his head up. Pull his head down. Makes that distance shorter. Um, and every time that I finish, okay, once I get my head in the hole, I bury my head deep in there, I should be able to score every single time once I get, get that angle. Now as far as finishing, every time that I finish on a front headlock, whether I'm hitting a goal behind, head in the hole, win me over, she'll go over here in a second, I'm always knocking off his base when I finish. I'm not just hitting his head, I'm not just hitting his pride, get my head in the hole, circle around, and get my points. Gives him an opportunity to just pull back up to his feet. When I take that guy down, I immediately I want to put that pressure on him. I want to extend his body and get him flat. So as I finish, I'm knocking him off his base. Now the pride, bearing my head deep, whether I'm attacking his waist or whether I'm attacking his ankle, it's time to pull Knock him off his base, and I give myself some space to pull my head up. Same idea, if I attack the ankle. I pry, it goes deep. The deeper I get my head, the deeper I have the back of my head, his armpit, the shorter it is I have to attack his ankle or attack his far, far hip. Same idea, attack his ankle, I'm lifting, I'm driving. I'm not just coming here, so look around for my point. Right here, attack, lift. Pull my head out, and then I attack. So see, this time it's the opposite of our circle and snap. This time I'm going to bring that hip towards me. I can't get it by circle and snapping, because it's getting a step away from me, I can't get that angle. I'm going to switch it up. Double front, then the hole. Tack his waist, tack his ankles, 